Hello students, how are you all? Welcome back. Today I am going to explain you about the chapter number 2 which is what is around us. So basically we have already completed the chapter but I am just going to give you a quick revision for this chapter so that you can remember or just revise the things which we have already completed in our sessions right so in this chapter uh, i'm going to explain you about the four spheres of our earth and along with that i'm also going to explain you about the importance like why are the spheres important for us so as we all know and we have already studied that our earth has four spheres and because of this four spheres life is possible only on earth because the four spheres which is number one lithosphere number two hydrosphere number three atmosphere and the number four is biosphere this four spheres together makes life possible on earth and because all the spheres are not in any other planet life is only possible on earth so basically this four spheres the first one which is the lithosphere so this sphere is the layer of the soil and solid materials on our earth and this lithosphere covers approximately 29% of our surface of the earth and this layer is almost 64 kilometers to 100 kilometers thickness that means the layer of this lithosphere or we can also call it as a layers of rocks and soil or the layer of land is this much thick this much yeah, means 64 to 100 kilometers thick along with that uh, it also tell it is also been seen that lithosphere is not of the same height everywhere like the the thickness of this layer is not same everywhere and uh, there are differences in their physical appearance or the physical features and this layer is mostly made up of soil and rocks so this layers or this lithosphere consist of different landforms which are called as mountains plateaus plains and valleys so the this all whether it is a plain land whether it is a mountain whether it is a plateau or valley this all comes under the lithosphere because this is the surface of land and it consists of rock and other soil uh, rock and soil and other substances right along with that uh, it also tells that the increase in temperature like the temperature increases as we move towards the center of the earth the center of the earth has the highest temperature and there are molten rocks molten rocks means melted rocks which is also called as magma magma is basically a fluid rock or a hot molten rock which is like a orangish liquid form of rock it is very hot as the temperature is so high in the center of the earth that the rocks gets it, it gets converted into the liquid form and it is that hot so this gases like there are also many other gases present in the interior of the earth and the there is so much huge amount of gases being formed in the inside of our earth or in this layers but because our upper layer or the layer of rocks which is on the upper part is so strong that the balance between the two is been maintained and it it is a uh, like 
it becomes a strong land but if the balance between the two gets disturbed or if the amount of gases is very high that the layer of rock or the land cannot survive then there is the eruption of volcano so this is the reason why the volcano gets erupted because of a huge amount of gases which has been produced inside the earth's crust right after that the next sphere is the hydrosphere so hydrosphere is basically the water content on our earth as we all know that most of our earth is covered with water which is 71% 71% of our earth is covered with water but out of which we can only use 2% of water for drinking so what are this where the other 71% like where the other 16 nine percent of the water goes so basically this water is into the oceans and seas so this all water the other rest of the water gets converted into vapors and because of this water the rainfall has been occurred that like the water from the oceans and the seas which is a uh, sea has a salt water right so that water is been evaporated and that forms clouds and we get the rain so the rain is the source of fresh water as we all know but if this oceans and seas were not that there then evaporation was not that much or the, the water was not been evaporated and rainfall would not occur so the other 69 percent which i am telling you about is basically in this forms like it is in the form of uh, ice it is in the oceans it is in seas and this all water the water from the seas and oceans gets evaporated little like some amount of water gets evaporated and it comes in the form of fresh water so th this was all about hydrosphere and the ocean see we have 71 percent of water and out of that 97 percent amount is in oceans so approximately one third water is being uh, remaining and that is in the form of ice capes and glaciers as i told in the form of ice so we hardly have a very small amount of water which is in the fresh form and which we can use for drinking now the next uh, thing which we have is the atmosphere so basically the atmosphere is our surrounding and it is up to like the atmosphere is up to 1600 kilometers from the surface of the earth right so that much uh, amount of atmosphere is there and uh, we it cannot be seen clearly with the naked eye like the lithosphere and hydrosphere like so basically the amount of gases in our environment or in our atmosphere is called as the atmosphere and we cannot see it with our naked eyes and along with the gases there are also many other small dust particles present smoke particles water vapors this all things are present in our atmosphere with other gases and uh, this atmosphere contains approximately 98% of nitrogen 21% of oxygen and 1% of other gases so this is all about atmosphere rest of the rest of it we have already completed in our class so now we'll here is the picture of the gases the amount of gases in our atmosphere you can read it right now we are going to go directly on the biosphere so basically biosphere is the mixture of all these three layers and it helps in the existence of livings like living beings biosphere includes many things like biosphere has 
vegetation vegetation means forest trees like the things which we like eat then it has animals it has insects and human beings of course so the biosphere is the base of our existence right we live because of the biosphere because of the other layers and it is divided into two parts living and non living right so lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere from the non living part while the plants and animals and microorganisms included in the living world so this three that is lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere is although non living thing but it forms non living thing and the plants and animals and microorganisms are included in the living world so this was all about the four layers we'll see you in the next class till then take care